On Ukraine, we discussed the imperative of continuing to support Ukraine so that it can effectively defend itself against the ongoing Russian aggression. Uh, that's for today. But also to make sure, through the work that we're doing, to help Ukraine build uh, a strong military for the future, to attract private sector investment so that it builds up its economy, and to continue to strengthen its democracy, in particular by moving down the accession path toward the EU, we are ensuring that we will have a Ukraine that stands strongly on its own feet, militarily, economically, democratically. And that's the single best response to Putin's aggression. France has been uh, a remarkable leader in this effort, both in making sure that Ukraine has what it needs to defend itself and also uh, working to set it up for the long term. Uh, it's been a leader in burden sharing. Billions donated in military and economic assistance to Ukraine, but also rallying other countries, using its leadership to bring others along. Uh, we also see this leadership in the enforcement of sanctions and export controls to limit Putin's war machine. Uh, we are working day in, day out uh, to effectively prevent the transfer of weapons and materials to Russia to fuel that war machine, uh, to fuel its defense industrial base, including from uh, Iran, from North Korea, and from China, something that we discussed today. Uh, this is not only a threat to Ukraine. It's actually a threat to European security as a whole. Uh, and so there's a strong interest uh, on the part of uh, France, on the part of all European countries, uh, to do everything we can to uh, prevent the ongoing bolstering of Russia's war machine.